Um, all right. Yeah, we're on. Okay, mm. big up. Welcome to the Soul Community Radio YouTube channel. I'm Vinyl Richie. And this is DJ Boycott. And we're in the SCR studio right now with a very special guest. <laughs> uh, it's an exclusive guest. It's a world first guest. It's the CDJ 3000 from Pioneer. We're lucky yeah. enough to have this in the studio. It's a bit mental that we're the first ones to have it. We've got to thank our friends at DJ Korea for giving us this opportunity. Um, it's real first for us to do it. And um, we're going to take you through the steps and uh, everything everybody wanted to know because there's a lot of hype about this machine. Yeah, let's dive in. Yeah, I had an um, um, opportunity to test it before we're doing this and then i really loving it. It's a very um, a sophisticated machine compared to the other CDJs before, especially when it comes to you know, new jog wheels and uh, new uh, styles of hot cues and buttons and uh, beat jump functions and everything. So, yeah, I'm really excited. You know. And I think basically the, the thing to notice first is that it's way bigger. It is way bigger, a yeah. Than a normal CDJ. It's, uh, it's, um, it's a bit of a beast. You might not be able to see it as great on the camera there, but it's, um, it's definitely a couple of inches bigger. The touch screen itself getting bigger. Then there are a lot of features on touch screen. On previous CDJ 2000 Nexus series, there are physical buttons like link, USB, SD, and disk. So you can choose from pressing actual buttons. But those buttons are inside touch screen now. I think in future updates, Pioneer will update more source options, um, such as track streaming from Beatport or SoundCloud, so that DJs can play their music from these cloud services. Right now, we don't have uh, this feature yet, but it will update it. Yeah, because I heard the CDJ3000 has more superior CPUs, so that it can support these functions more. Yeah, Sick. The main thing that stands out is definitely touch screen, the yeah, LED yeah. screen. It's way bigger. You could play, like, you know, you could play a computer game on that. <laughs> probably probably <laughs> someone going to hack I'm this thing to <laughs> play Doom 2. I'm, I'm, I'm guaranteed. But maybe maybe that is also that you know <laughs> they want to have some more things on the FX. You could maybe use it like a chaos pad or something like that uh, coming yeah. into it. Um, the next thing to notice is we're going to stick with the display because a really nice feature on the jog wheel. Oh, we'll, jog wheel we'll is so nice. We'll talk more about the actual handling of the jog wheel. But yeah. inside the jog wheel, you've got. Um, uh, can you load? Yeah, yeah. So you've got like. No. Uh, we took a photo with the SCR logo. We put that on a track. Yeah. That demonstrates that, you know, you have the opportunity to, like, brand uh, your tracks more. So if you want your logo, it's probably a good idea to have your logo or relevant artwork on your track because it's exactly. a branding opportunity for DJs. I think that's what the thinking is behind like, the artwork in there. And it, and it looks pretty sick to yeah. me. Okay, so the, the other feature is uh, Jogu itself. The feels of Jogu is very smooth and way better than before. It really feels natural to, uh, you know, scratchers like me. And um, also what I notice is, before in CDJ 2000 and, uh, you know, other uh, gears, there's always delays between indicators in here and the screen. Mm. So usually, you know, I, I know some DJs wants to uh, scratch whilst they're watching touch screen. Yeah. It never happens. I know, like it never happens. But now you can do. There are like very minimum delays between these touch screens and these jog wheels. So Yeah, I like that. And also you can go beyond the uh, the beginning of the track like this. Yeah. See here, which is very important because a lot of time when I uh, put my CDJ onto vinyl mode, and then when I start to just, uh, you know, scratching like this, and then if I, uh, you know, rewind it too much, and it, you know, sometimes it goes to previous track, and then when I bring it back again, it stops. It really uh, messes up my performance many times, but now it's fixed. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's really, really good. So how, how does it feel? Does it feel more, more sort of tense or tighter? Um, now it feels more softer and more nicely. It just like feels like you are uh, you know scratching with some sort of um, how I say like a magnetic 
uh, ah, thing. I see, I see. Whereas, yeah. like on this, I guess it was a little bit more. Is it more textured as well? Because this, this has a sort of like, that has. Yeah, it has a texture a, now. It actually, looks like vinyl. If you you probably can't see it on the camera, but it has grooves yeah. in a circular way. Whereas this. On the previous CDJ, it's just got like a kind of a matte finish. It's actually quite slippery compared to this. <laughs> so um, exactly, yeah, yeah. It I feels better. It feels like uh, you know more vinyl-ish. Yeah, thing, yeah, yeah. I think that's what they've got. And obviously, I think the picture disc as well is meant to be a bit more like vinyly. You know, yep, yep, so yep, like yep. kind of. I, I can see. I didn't think of it actually like that, but like, yeah, they've gone. To, they've tried to make it. Yep. And it looks okay. Also, um, there's, there's another function called beat jump here. Before, Beat Jump was only available inside a touch screen. I think not many people really are using it because you know you want to press an actual physical button rather than just touch screen for yeah. performances, right? So now it uh, has its own uh, physical buttons on here. So I'll show you a demonstration a little. It's a sample from Planet Rock. Yeah. Yeah. And then the thing is like you can loop it you know in a, in a certain uh, like a, a part and then the thing of uh, a big jump is you can actually uh, you know shift wow, wow. like this and then um if i uh, uh make loop really short like that and then i can go You can do something yeah. like this. It's yeah. like uh, it's like you can um, use this CDJ as a, like glitch machines or granular synthesizer. This is what I uh, uh, usually like to do with uh, you know these digital uh, turntable uh, uh, products. And um, this one has a uh, really nice features with the uh, beat jump. Nice. Mm -hmm. And could you use the beat jump with these other cues as well? Because the other cues, there's, this the is A two. How many? How many? How many cues are there? Okay, there's a. There are eight cues now. Yeah. Yeah. There are eight cues. Compared a to, to H. Yeah, compared yeah. to CDJ 2000, uh, Nexus 2, we have uh, eight cues as well, but for physical button, there's only four. So yeah. there's only uh, you know four buttons you can actually access to, but now we have uh, eight buttons, so, you know, like uh, finger drummers can do, uh, you know, uh, yeah. various things. Yeah. Yeah. Um, one other thing people have said is not, it's not too much has changed. Though. Like no, there's, there's you have to you have to feel it. Like yeah. it's so many things has changed. I think to the untrained eye, it like it looks a bit bigger, with <laughs> bigger screen and a nice little vinyl like thing. But I think what are the internal improve improvements? That's a, that's something that you can oh. only tell when you use. Yeah. It. So now uh, there's a, a fan installed inside. So you know when you use CDJ for a long time, it gets really hot. But this thing. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, it's getting really yeah, that's hot. True. Yeah, yeah. Do we but know this, this though yet? Well, that, that if it gets hot or not, we haven't we haven't used it for like more. But than if you uh, you know listen to it closer, there's a fan inside. Oh really? Yeah. So it makes it more cooler, or faster, and also the whole body is now uh, aluminium. Yeah. So it has a more you know kind of very nice uh, MacBook uh, you know MacBook style ish uh, texture. If yeah. you touch the whole uh, in the actual body, yeah, it's the actual. Cause I've been trying not to get fingerprints on it because <laughs> it's like trying to take a photo, and it's just like when you yeah. touch it, like yeah, it is like touching a brand, it's like touching a car. Yep. So um, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's definitely a nice. Uh, it's less plasticky. Yeah. Oh it's, yeah, it's like, I, I, I guess like a thing to mm, say, mm, like mm, from mm. a looks perspective. Exactly, it's um, less plasticky, and um, it just looks professional. You know? Yeah. Yeah. W w do we know if it if it, if it will be expensive? So like, w will you will you have to pay for? Um, we'll fee? see. You know, after four yeah. four p.m. in Korea time. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if the people are rushing during the <laughs> the, the pandemic to buy these. So right. like, but I think like um, where they're going with it is definitely a cool direction. It really is. Yeah. Also, there's a, I forgot to tell you that there's a key shift function now. So for example, track like this. You can actually uh, shift, the, change the key like that. So you can, uh, you know, matching with the different uh, keys with different tracks more easily than yeah. before. That sounds cool. It really is, yeah.
And also there's a key sync feature too. So if let's say if I choose this track and there's another track plays in the other deck, but has a different keys, but if you turn the key sync in here, then automatically, you know, match the keys and then make it into you know, just you know a feel seamlessly, you know, in a key. Sure. Mm. In the key, in a key. The songs in the key of life. It songs in the key, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for my bad English. No, it's cool. Yeah. Shout out Stevie Wonder. <laughs> um, the um, yeah, I think like kind of it's it's cool for us to use. But no one's tried to do a mix between two of them yet, so yeah. we do have one down here. Have a box down here. You can pick it up, man. <laughs> so look, there you go. We we're actually going to unbox this. Um, uh, we've got cameras in our in our studio yard. We're going to unbox that now. Um, but yeah, we haven't yep. actually mixed two together. So that's what we're going to see in another video. Yeah. Um, you should check out the other video that we are, are going to make in real time, which is going to have two of these. So we'll see what the um, things are. We'll make more videos the more we use. This is like an upfront video of just us put, yep. plugging it in and seeing how it, how it works and how sure. it feels. But um, yeah, um, there's going to be a series of these because we're lucky enough to have it. So we're going to milk it for as much as we can um so we're going to make some maybe uh, i can other, do a little bit videos. of like um um i don't know the performance of i it? i think we should do like a live scratch thing with you later, yeah, yeah, later. on insta live mm, yeah yeah and just yeah. doing all the stuff let's do that later all when right. i come back from all right. my other mission okay which none of you and you have uh, you know about. two proper yeah. cdj 2000 then. Yeah. um yeah no it's um it's very exciting and yep. um yeah we uh we're looking forward to testing it so Watch out for the other videos. We'll link the other videos in the comment section or, or wherever. And uh, yeah, it's part of the SCR CDJ 3000 world premiere. Uh, yeah. Big up. Big up, man. Take it easy. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>